hello guys so welcome to ko tutorials so we are going to continue with the second part of this tutorial uh, modeling a ewm sniper rifle so let's get started so as we have seen over here in my last part we have started with the modeling of this uh, sniper rifle over here so we'll be continuing this uh, rifle part over here so let's do it. So very first of all, what I'll be doing over here is now I'll be extruding this uh, part over here. I don't need this two points. So I'll be just extruding this uh, area which is which is required over here. So let's go with that. So let's again extrude it. Again extrude this. So go on extruding this. So rotate it over here. Now what I'm going to do over here is like uh, I'm going to if you want that this part hole should be over here. So I'll be just deleting this face and deleting this polygons. I'll go into the vertices, right click on it and I will use a target weld over here. So I can easily weld this using this target weld option. So using this target weld option I can easily weld this area from here. So if you look at it over here, we need to put some point over here and just edit it in this way much better so I'll just save my file again over here so the thing now over here I have to do over here is like uh, let's go with all its edges over here let's go with all the edges over here So if you like to give some kind of smoothness to the edges, you can go with that. So first I'll just go into this and I'll just close it with a cut tool over here. So right click, target weld. So let's go into this all the edges over here. So just select all this edges. And you have a chamfer option over here. Let's give a bit of chamfer to it. Not much, a bit. And don't give more chamfer, a bit. Oops, we forgot this. We need to select this also. And just give a bit of chamfer to it. So chamfer should be very less over here. So as you can see now after assigning a chamfer it looks good over here. So save your file again over here. So now after this stuff over here what we'll be doing here is like uh, we have this part over here. So let's just extend this part till here. Let's just extend this part till here and now what I'll be doing over here is like we definitely have a uh, kind of a support over here for that what I'll be doing is I have a tube option over here 
let's use a tube over here so let's take a tube over here So let's take a tube option over here. So this tube definitely uh, we need to reduce its uh, radius 1 and 2, radius 2, radius 1 and increase its height so definitely this part uh, is going to be managed over here in this way so let's just scale this in this way and let's just duplicate this over here so select this part four over here and let's use just inset so let's give a bit of inset over here and let's give a bit of bevel to it and that's it so once you're done with this just click ok over here <coughs> so as you can see that uh, we are just selecting this elements I'm just scaling it a bit over here in this way and now what I'll be doing over here is like I'll definitely select this both convert to editable poly select this and I will attach it I'm going to attach this and this part over here press 4 over here select this polygons over here and simultaneously same over here select this 4 polygons and let's give a bridge option so you can easily bridge this elements over here in this way after that save your file again so select the polygons once again over here select this select the top polygons once again over here or oh, only this much part and extrude it up just extrude a bit up over here now go on to this view over here press R and scale it from the top now I can just select this polygons and this polygons this polygon and this polygon and extrude a bit up and click OK so once you're done with this now what I can do over here is like let's again go into this view over here oops uh, we just missed it not a problem we'll go into this edges over here control backspace control backspace select this vertices and we'll just push this in so you can just easily push it in this way that's it much better so now again take a cylinder over here let's take a cylinder and let's rotate it in 90 degree and reduce its height segments over here 
reduce its radius if required and let's convert to editable poly so guys if you have any doubts related to this you can just text me or sorry you can just put it in the comment box comment section of this video so let's go up again over here and let's select this polygons just extrude it up press alt and x use bevel push it over here increase the size click ok again extrude it extrude it to go on with it again bevel it just scale this till here and again extrude it oops I'm sorry uh, just bevel it reduce it click ok and then extrude it so you can just give one more small extrusion over here and let's add some details so we'll just add one more loop over here so let's go into this edges over here just push this over here and push this over here so let's again add one swift loop and we can just scale it a bit that's it so you can see uh, the difference definitely we are going with it so let's go into this polygon again and let's use a bit of bevel before using a bevel let's use a bit of inset give a bit of inset and give a bit of bevel but this bevel should go inside that's it all right so the same thing will happen over here also so select this press 4 and let's give a bit of inset not much a bit click ok and just extrude it a bit inside and delete it so use one swift loop over here and press 2 and you can just push it outside that's it So the same thing will go with this over here also. So select this and just use a bit of inset and use a bit of bevel into it. That's it. So save your file over here. So definitely we'll be going slow over here for this. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So definitely I'll be showing you one thing over here. That's my website over here. You can just go to my website that is www.kokarai.online. That's my website over here. So you can just check out my work on this website. So that's my blog. So some of my artwork over here. And definitely if you like my designs, you can just subscribe on this website also. And you have my contact number and my mail ID over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.